sure I'll speak up. So it's kind of loud here still at the arena. Um, can, can you kind of take us through the last 36, I don't know, 48, whatever it was for you, where did you kind of summon that energy um, from tonight, which a normal human would not have, I don't think, after flying 7,000 miles? Um, I think it's just competing, being a competitor. Um, this is the first time uh, I've been on the stage, so, you know, you always want to make a, make an impression, but you never want to lose the first game. So I uh, just came out and, and played as hard as I can, like I usually do, and try to leave it out there on the court. Drew, a quick follow. Obviously, this is not the outcome you wanted. It's not the outcome people at home would expect. Is there any realization tonight that, yeah, it's bad, but, you know, every goal was still there for you guys if, if, if you, you know, if, if you turn this around? Was that talked about at all in the room? Or I mean, uh, we're up with a minute 30 left. Um, we had a chance to knock down a three. We got a couple of rebounds. I missed a three to, I think, to go up either – two or three, um, something happened crazy. And it became like a four point swing. Um, I felt like we missed a couple of threes there. And, and again, France is a good team. They play very, very well together. Um, and you can even tell that they just stayed consistent throughout the whole game. Uh, there's times where we're up nine, up 10. <clears throat> and at those points, you know, we just gotta keep going. We gotta, we gotta break that barrier, but, um, I'm I'm very positive about tonight. Uh, France is a good team, and and um, I feel like we'll just get better every game. Thank you. Again, a reminder: if you have a question, raise your hand, and uh, we will go next to Samuel Rodriguez. Hey, Drew. This is Samuel Rodriguez at New Stitch Media. First, congrats on winning your first NBA championship. Thank you. And. Coming out, you played great after that long flight and plus playing with a brand new team. When do you think this team will be at their peak chemistry for the season? Um, I don't know. This is my first day. Uh, literally my first day. So, um, again, I, I feel like the chemistry that we had and, and showed at times is is awesome. Um, we have some of the best players in the world on one team and um, just have a couple of things that we need to figure out. But uh, – I guess I can't really give you the, the answer to that question because it's literally my first day. Next up is Raphael Haynes. Hey, Drew, Raphael Haynes with the three-point conversion. Again, congrats on winning the championship. Um, with you saying that it's your first day, even watching Kevin Durant fall out, you know, of course, it's, it's an adjustment. What has been the biggest adjustment so far, just in that first game? Like, what have you noticed is the difference between international play and NBA play? There's a lot. Um, one is the officiating, uh, a, a, a little different. Um, a, a lot of the calls that I feel like <clears throat> are made in the NBA are made here. Um, it's like a weird physicality, but you can't be too physical. Uh, I feel like especially somebody like Kevin was trying to do a good job of being physical and, and he got called for those. Um, you know, um, it's just, just a lot of things, even the, uh, um, the flagrant fouls. I, I don't know how, I guess some of these, even the one on Damien, it was kind of like, he was really just reaching for the ball and, and my man just, I don't know. He, he, he tripped. Yes. Uh, there's a collision, but so a, a lot is different. Um, and again, I feel like the way that we're so good in the NBA and, and we kind of used to their refing and, and officiating um, is going to have to be the same over here where we um, learn from today's game uh, and just be a, a little bit more solid defensively. Next up, we'll go to Kellen Olson. Hey, Drew, uh, to follow up on the flight, uh, that's a unique experience to play against Devin in the finals and, and then fly with him. I know you two have a have a high level of respect for each other. Just how seamless is the transition from playing against him in the finals to now uh, being teammates? And if you guys were able to joke on the flight about the series or anything like that? Um, man, he's a he's a great player. He's easy to play with, a uh, smart player, knows how to play the game. So. I think being able to go out there with him today and, and uh, kind of get a feel on the groove, uh, 
was pretty easy. Um, the ball is completely different uh, from what we were just playing with in the one now. Uh, that's um, probably one of the biggest adjustments just because we do have to put the ball in the basket. Um, but the flight, honestly, I feel like me, Book, and K-Mid just slept. We tried to kind of time this out where we knew we'd get in, we'd have shoot around and, and play a game that same day. So uh, most of the flight, man, we, we just tried to sleep and, and get the flight over as fast as possible. We'll go to Chris Sheridan. Hey, Drew, uh, speaking to you from New York, to make sure you can hear me clearly. I want to know what was the gist of Coach Popovich's uh, speech to the team after the game? Um, he told us the things that we got to do better. Uh, we were up 10, 9 a couple times. Uh, there's times where we really got to put put people away when when we have those advantages. We went into halftime, I think, up 8. And coming out of that half, we got to do better. Um, but not to get too high, not to get too low. Uh, we still have a chance to accomplish our goal, and, and being consistent is the best way of doing it. Thank you. Next up, we'll go to uh, Rafik Louisan. This is Rafik with Nothing But That Sports Talk. Congratulations to taking home the NBA title. I just want to ask you, like, you managed to score, like, 18 points during your first Olympic game, like, how satisfying was it to you to actually have this performance despite the losing effort? And how are you plan to continue that momentum going to your next game? Um, I mean, yeah, it, it felt good to be in a groove and know that I, yesterday I was in a different different country and, and today I came here and, and uh, I played okay. Um, I feel like there's a couple of things I can do better defensively, a couple of shots offensively that I had to be better at, but uh, I did solid. But... <clears throat> I think for the most part, um, being here is, 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 is an honor. So I'm going to play my heart out every game. Um, I'm going to be able to go out there and, and uh, support my teammates however possible, if it's defensively being aggressive, uh, if it's offensively setting screens, grabbing rebounds, uh, or knocking down shots. So uh, honestly, I just came here to do me. And how is the team plan to overcome the adversity if, um, to win the final two games to make it to tournament play? Um, I feel like we, that's kind of the team that we are. Uh, we've been through a lot, um, especially th this season with, with COVID and testing. And uh, again, we have a team that, our full team, this is the first time we played together. So uh, a lot of adversity. And, and I feel like this is just something that um, we do a lot and, and we'll accomplish this too, just like we've accomplished everything before. But we're smart players, uh, smart players, great character, and, and we'll figure it out these next two. Appreciate your insight. Good luck. Thank you. We'll go to Ferdinand uh, Riviera next. Hey, Drew from Puerto Rico. Um, first Olympics, how does it feel to share this moment with Chris? It's awesome. Um, just talking about it and, again, knowing where we were a couple of days ago and, and – I mean, we we're on a parade. Uh, we had just won a championship and then being able to, you know, um, represent our country in this way and on the stage has been uh, really cool. And, and it makes it even better that I could do it with my teammate that I just won an NBA championship with. So, um, yeah, man, uh, really, really just grateful and blessed and, and proud to be here. What areas of the game of the game Team USA should improve for the next game? Sorry, say it again. What areas of the games should Team USA improve for the next game? Um, I think defensively. Um, we had a couple of mishaps there where uh, we have to be better. Um, I feel like we go through, we've went through a law where our defense um, wasn't helping us out. And uh, that could be in with shots and, and shots missed. But I, th I feel like our defense has to be on point the whole time. Because again, these teams, these national teams have played with each other for years now. And, and we're kind of new to this, uh, everybody on this team. Thank you. Yes, uh, we'll go next to uh, Elder Elmo, and then our final question will be David Melandra. Hi, Drew. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Uh, congrats on the NBA championship. Uh, I'd like to ask 
who's emerging as the locker room leader in such a team that is filled with all stars and who's rally- rallying the team right now after this tough loss. I mean, you know, I think it's a group effort. Uh, you know, you, you always got somebody like Kevin Durant and, and Draymond Green who um, have been in this position before, have been to the, I mean, the finals plenty of times and uh, been in situations like this. So, um, but we, we also have a team who's been through a lot of adversity. And I feel like we all kind of feel the disappointment and, and we all want to get back out there and, and play and prove ourselves and prove how good of a team we could be. Thank you so much. And our final question will come from David Melandra. Hey, Drew. First of all, congratulations on winning the championship. Can you just talk about what these last couple of days have been like going from winning the NBA championship and now representing Team USA for, for your first time in the Olympics? It's been a bit of a whirlwind. Um, yeah, it's been a bit of a whirlwind. Uh, after, after winning, you kind of want to enjoy it and, and bask in it, but uh, you can't really let yourself – uh, go too much because you know you still have um, something else to do the job's not finished and uh, even battling through the playoffs and how draining that could be and um, and all that and then coming straight here um, I feel like that actually kind of made it a little easier because I just had to stay locked in um, but being able to just kind of take in what we could take in after winning after having a parade and then leaving the next day um, being out here, uh, just feel like it's a great opportunity. So uh, I'm, I'm, gl- I'm glad I'm here. What can you take away from your game today as you take it to the next game? Me personally or as a team? Both. Uh, me personally, one thing I could take away is just continue to be aggressive um, defensively, offensively. When I have opportunities to, to get to the basket, do that, or, or get into the paint and make plays for others, do that. Um, pick up full court, try to try to make it difficult for the other guards out there um, and 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 uh, really just make it hard. And and as a team, I think defensively, we kind of need to lock in a little more. Our shots will fall. Again, this is a different style of basketball. It's a different type of basketball. Like in, in general, the actual basketball is different. But um, I feel like if we play our games, if uh, uh, we, we – um, start knocking down our shots, then, then things will go well.